What's happening, Nick Martinez, the Keto Dad here, and today we're gonna make my favorite dip. We used to make this all the time prior to going keto, and we call it Scoops Dip because we use Frito-Lay Scoops. However, this is amazing with cucumbers, with celery, with green pepper, and I'm telling you, you're gonna love it because it's keto-friendly and it's simple to make. So let's get started. First thing we're gonna do is start with a jar of salsa. This is the only carbs that are coming from this. So what I, I did before I bought this, I looked at a few different jars and bought the one that had the lowest carb count because some had three or four uh, grams per serving and some had two. So this one has two um, carbs per two tablespoon. Uh, so you're getting most of the carbs in this from the salsa, but it's it's not necessarily a bad thing when it's divided out. You're not gonna eat this whole uh, thing. I don't think you are at least. Now I've got a block of cream cheese. I've gone ahead and just kind of cut it into cubes so it will mix in a little bit easier. And I'm gonna throw that in there. And then finally, I've got a block of Colby Jack cheese that I'm gonna put in here. And this is how fun and how simple this is, is all you have to do now is start to mix it together. And in a second here, I'm gonna add a special ingredient. Okay, as you start to stir this, it's gonna get lighter and lighter. It'll turn a nice orange color. But before I go any further, I'm gonna add a little bit of taco seasoning. You can take it from the bag. You can take like, if you have your own little taco seasoning that you've made, um, a little paprika, a little ground cumin, a little chili powder, makes for a good taco seasoning. I'm just gonna spread that in there to give it a little bit extra pizzazz. It's not required. A lot of salsas will already give it that. And now I'm just gonna stir away and eventually all of the cheese the cream cheese and the shredded cheese will blend together with the salsa and it will become one amazing dip. Okay, check it out. I mean, does that not look delicious? It will kind of harden in consistency after you leave it in the fridge for a couple hours, but it is ready to eat right away if you're ready for it. So I've got a little bit of cucumber cut up here. I've also got some celery. Green pepper also works really well and is super keto friendly for this. Also, you could do pork rinds if you're a big pork rind fan. So let's see how it tastes. Mmm, mmm. That is delicious. I love scoop sips. One of my favorite football uh, appetizers. Always fun, it's keto friendly, something you can bring with you or make for your guests. So with that, I hope you have an amazing day. And remember, keep it simple, keep it fun, keep it keto. We'll talk to you soon.